we're leaving our home neighborhood to take a journey to a place where stars are born. Our destination appears close, but even at the speed of light, 186,000 miles a second, the journey lasts one and a half thousand years. We've arrived at a vast glowing cloud of gas and dust, the Great Orion Nebula. With the Earth in this new neighborhood, our skies resemble a brilliantly illuminated cosmic canvas. But this cloud is more than a work of art. It holds the key to how our sun and every star in the galaxy came to be. The first clues to this puzzle come from looking at the Milky Way from our perspective within the disk. It seems there's more here than just stars. With the naked eye, we can pick out large, dark patches. And astronomers like James Bullock have a clearer picture. Perhaps the most beautiful part of this image is that we have this contrast of dark and light regions running through the plane of the disk. What that really is, it's dust. There are clouds of dust that are casting a shadow from the back of the stars. So the stars are trying to shine their light through. There are dust clouds there that are blocking the light, much like a cloud on Earth would block the sun. These vast clouds of cosmic gas and dust stretch thousands of light years across the Milky Way. Hubble has spotted them in most spiral galaxies. Dark, ghostly bands woven through their spiral arms and spreading across their entire disks. Look closer and there's something strange about this gas and dust. There are patches where it appears to glow. These bright glowing clouds are called nebulae. And along with the Orion Nebula, our Milky Way has some spectacular examples. The Eagle Nebula with towering pillars up to four light years in size. The Carina Nebula, a grand canvas of art hung in the darkness of space. And these vibrant colors reveal what gases nebulae are made of. <laughs> 